So, as many of you may remember, my biggest ever video was about the Chicago race incident that happened. Now, for those of you who don't remember that or just don't know about that for whatever reason, basically there was a young, white, disabled man who got kidnapped by a group of black youths, one of whom he knew, and was brutally tortured and humiliated and kidnapped for about 48 hours before they left him essentially on his own without any help. They were arrested and have since been in jail for a couple of months and are now about to receive sentencing. Now, one of them has been sentenced and it's one of the women. It was two women, two men. And let's just say it's the same story that we see over and over again with female criminals getting away with it. Now, this comes from Hot Air and it says here, Chicago judge gives woman charged in Facebook Live hate crime a shocking sentence. The first of four adults charged in January with the hate crime of a white special needs 18 year old has been freed on probation in what many people are likely to believe is a rather light sentence compared to the crime. Brittany Covington narrated a Facebook Live video showing the special needs teen being tortured and humiliated in the Chicago apartment she shared with her sister Tanisha, who's still behind bars in this matter along with co-defendants Tess Faye Cooper and George. Hill. In the video, racial slurs were shouted at the mentally impaired teen. His clothes and hair were cut. He was even forced to drink water from a toilet. His captors also appeared to accuse him of being a supporter of Donald Trump. The teen looked absolutely terrified in the video as he was held for as long as 48 hours. The two men and women who held him hostage and streamed their horrific treatment of him on Facebook Live clearly aren't the brightest of criminals as they intentionally broadcast their crimes in what appeared to be a further attempt to humiliate the man. They even said they wanted the video to go viral. So that is what she did. That's what she, along with her mates and sister, did to this man. They tortured him, they humiliated him, and they did it in public. So we all know what they did. They were doing it live. We saw it as the crime was being committed for quite a few hours. And yet, here she is, walking out on probation. Now, some people I've seen are already chalking this up to race, saying that white people can't get justice, and have labelled recent events and prior events saying that white people can't get justice, and... The system is stacked against them. The system is stacked against many different people, but this really is more of a thing to do with women. This is a gender problem. This isn't a race problem because we all know that those two men aren't going to be walking free either. They will be in jail for a long, long time. And we'll be seeing this soon as the judge has a little thing that he has to say in order to justify his sentencing. You would think a crime of this magnitude that shot people from across the country, including then President Obama, would be worthy of a serious criminal penalty. You would also be wrong. The four have been held without bond at the Cook County Jail since January. Now Brittany Covington is home for the holidays after getting four years probation. She's also barred from using social media for four years and forbidden from having contact with Cooper and Hill. And we'll probably see her break these terms. Lavinia Woodward broke her bail. She got into contact with the guy that she stabbed and abused. And yet that was not taken into consideration with her sentencing, which was basically allowing her to walk away free. She didn't do nothing, remember guys. I mean, all this for a person who filmed and pled guilty to battery, as you'll soon see in this, in this article. All this from a person who admitted what she did was wrong. She admitted guilt to all the crimes that were charged against her. And yet, a probation. But hey, you know what? Let's see from the Chicago Tribune what the judge said. Calling the incident horrific, Cook County Circuit Judge William Hooks banned Covington from social media over the four years, prohibited her from contact with two of her co-defendants and ordered her to do 200 hours of community service. Hooks told Covington he could have imposed a prison sentence, but added, I'm not sure if I did that, you'd be coming out any better. Hook said he hoped the strict terms of probation would put Covington on a more productive life path, but he warned she would face prison time if she violated any of the restrictions. Do not mess this up, Hook told Covington, who's a quietly in a blue jail uniform with her hands clasped behind her back. The 19-year-old also pleaded guilty to aggravated battery and intimidation charges. As part of a plea deal, prosecutors dropped additional charges, including kidnapping. So not only has she basically gotten away with this crime, yes, she's doing 200 hours of community service and is on probation, she's walking free while we all know that the two men are going to be put in prison and who knows what's going to happen to her sister. I assume her sister's older. I think her sister was older, so she might end up going to jail as well. But the fact that she was complicit and did kidnap this guy along with her friends and sister, apparently... In that deal, oh, you know what, we'll drop those charges because you pleaded guilty. And apparently she wouldn't turn out any better than she already is if they put her into jail, even though she probably isn't a very savoury person 
regardless. Like, how do we know she is going to put her life on track? She committed a horrible crime. She filmed a horrible crime. She should be put in jail. The punishment should fit the crime. And I do not think in any way this punishment fits the crime. Men do not get this level of second chances. We've seen it time and time again. Time and time again. I mean, just look at the prison sentence gap when it comes to gender and then look at it compared to race. The gender gap just completely blows it out of the water. So the idea that this is more about race is ludicrous, it isn't. It's because the judge has a dick and he sees a girl who committed a crime, who has a pussy, and has decided, you know what? She's a woman, I like women. I'm going to give her a lesser stricter sentence because reasons. I just don't get it. You know it's horrific, you know what she did was wrong, and yet you give her a punishment that doesn't fit the crime. Just typical. Compare her punishment, the article continues, to that of her victim whose grandmother said this is going to affect him for probably the rest of his life. This man is likely going to have to carry around baggage from this kidnapping and assault while Brittany Covington is out of jail in less than a year. Chicago has quite the reputation for crime and by giving such a light sentence in this matter it's easy to see why that reputation is earned. Time will tell if Brittany Covington's co-defendants get a similar deal. Well as I've seen from the usual thing that happens in the justice system across the west the men will be put in jail. Apparently their lives aren't worth a second chance on the basis of their gender. So for a man, he doesn't deserve a second chance to correct his life. He goes straight to jail. He's punished because he's an adult. He should know that what he did was wrong and therefore this punishment is apt and just. But a woman shouldn't know any better because she's a woman. Therefore, she deserves a second chance. That's what I'm getting here. I mean, what has she shown to the judge? What has she shown in her 19 years of being on this planet that suggests that she could become something better? She's a sociopath. All of them are pretty much sociopaths. This is a sociopathic, psychopathic, whatever you call it, act. Not many humans do this to another fellow human being. Not many people can be this tainted and corrupted by racism and just psychopathy in order to do this. I mean, for goodness sake, again, the white guy knew and was friendly with one of the men. This is how fucked up it is. And yet here she is walking out in a year. And I reiterate the article. This man has to live with the shit they did to him as well as his disability. He has to live with all that. He has to deal with the trauma that he feels while she just gets to walk away with a slap on the wrist. Two hours community service, probation. Yeah, sure, if she breaks the terms she can go to jail, but will they send her to jail? I don't know, because they're living in the Woodward's bail conditions were broken. They didn't send her to jail, so I hardly think that they will send her to jail. It'll be another slap on the wrist, as they usually do with women. And as I've already said, the men will go to jail, and potentially her sister, because I think her sister was the older one. So, yeah, older women should know better, maybe. Hmm, I don't know, or maybe just inconsistency. Anyway, that's the end of the video, guys. A short one. Already, we're seeing the justice system fail. And I just don't know when's it going to stop. So, till next time, it's been your boy. And I'll see you later.